At the moment, there are limited options for autism spectrum disorder. There is a growing interest in non-pharmacological approaches such as brain photobiomodulation. This animation explores the results of an autism spectrum disorder clinical study using the V-Lite Neuro Duo, conducted by Dr. Palanti Stefano, a Stanford University professor and director of Instituto di Neuroscienze, Florence, Italy. Data was reported and analyzed from 21 patients, 13 males and 8 females, with an average age of 9.1. The age range is 5 to 15 years old. The study was conducted over six months at home. Participants used the V-Lite Neuro Duo with its two protocols, the Alpha 10 Hz protocol and the Gamma 40 Hz protocol. Both Alpha and Gamma protocols were administered each day, one in the morning and one in the evening. Each session had a duration of 20 minutes, during which children were involved in stimulating activities, such as drawing, coloring, reading, playing games, or doing homework. Participants were first evaluated at baseline then after three and six months of treatment using the Childhood Autism Rating Scale, the Home Situation Questionnaire, ASD, the Autism Parenting Stress Index, the Montefiore Einstein Rigidity Scale revised, and the Pittsburgh Sleep Quality Index, PSQI, to evaluate attention. The main outcome of the study was a significant reduction in ASD severity, as evidenced by decreased CARS scores. Additionally, participants also experienced less cognitive and behavioral rigidity, improved sleep quality, and better attention. These improvements not only enhanced the lives of the patients, but also greatly reduced stress among their parents, as measured by the SDAG scale, creating a more peaceful and effective environment for growth. But how does this device work? The V-Lite NeuroDuo emits an optimal irradiance amongst the highest in the industry with the 810 nanometer wavelength to penetrate the skull and reach the brain, transcranially and intranasally. The V-Lite NeuroDuo's design is patented and specifically targets the default mode network, or DMN, to improve connectivity between its nodes. The default mode network is crucial in understanding autism because individuals with autism spectrum disorder have been observed to have alterations in their DMN, potentially contributing to difficulties in social interactions and understanding others' perspectives. Research suggests that atypical connectivity within the DMN may underlie the characteristic challenges in social communication and repetitive behaviors seen in autism. Additionally, the two different pulsing modes, alpha and gamma, are found to have different effects in this research. The alpha protocol promotes relaxation, reducing rigidity, and improving sleep. Meanwhile, the gamma protocol boosts cognitive functions, aiding in better attention. From a safety perspective, the treatment has been well tolerated with minimal side effects, making it a safe option. While the results are promising, further research, including neuroimaging, is necessary to confirm these findings and understand the underlying changes better. In conclusion, the V-Lite NeuroDuo offers a new horizon for ASD, combining safety with effectiveness. With more research, this device could pave the way for a personalized treatment approach in neurodevelopmental disorders. Thank you for watching. To learn more about this fascinating study and the V-Lite NeuroDuo, please check the link in the description below.